In today's video, we will see few examples of XLOOKUP. Before starting the examples of XLOOKUP, we will cover VLOOKUP first and then we will see how XLOOKUP is better than VLOOKUP. In VLOOKUP, we have four things. First is lookup value. So what is lookup value? Lookup value is the data based on which we are going to extract rest of the data. Second is table array. Array is basically our data. Third is column index number. So column index number is basically the column number for which we are going to get the data or extract the data. And fourth is options. In options, we have got two things, true and false. True is approximate match or nearby match and false is exact match. For true, we use one and for false, we use zero. When we come to XLOOKUP, in XLOOKUP, we have got three things. First is lookup value. Second is lookup array and third is return array. We will understand this in better way when we will insert our formula. Let's use VLOOKUP first plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. Code is my lookup value because we are going to extract our data based on the code comma table array. Code is my lookup value. So in table array, we will have to select our data from code. We can select our data without headers. In case we want, we can select the data with headers. And if you want, you can select your data from top also. In all three, we will be getting the same result. Comma, column index number. Selection of VLOOKUP started from code. So code automatically became column index number one. Product became two and quantity sold became three. So over here, we want quantity sold. So I'll put three, comma. I'll take this down. We got two options, true approximate match, or we can say nearby match and false is exact match. So I'll click on false. If you want, you can use zero instead of false. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got our quantity sold against product code. Now we will use XLOOKUP plus or equal to XLOOKUP bracket open lookup value code will be my lookup value comma lookup array in vlookup we had got table array but in xlookup we have got lookup array so where we have to look for this code we have to look for this specific code in all these codes so i'll select all the codes from top to bottom comma return array what i want in return i want products or i want quantity sold so I want quantity sold in return. So I have selected quantity sold from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And in both the cases, I got the same result. Let's move to next example. Over here, what our sales data and I have got sales from January to June. Over here, we have to extract the data based on code. And just below that, we have to extract the data based on product. Let's use XLOOKUP plus or equal to XLOOKUP bracket open lookup value code will be my lookup value comma lookup array where i have to look for this specific code from these codes so i'll select all the codes from top to bottom comma return array in return what i want in return i want total sales so i'll select total sales from top to bottom we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and i got the result of code number hs004 now let's take out code of the specific product plus or equal to x lookup bracket open lookup value product name will be my lookup value comma lookup array where I have to look for the specific product from all the products. So I have selected all the products from top to bottom comma return array. What I want in return in return I want codes. So I'll select all the codes from top to bottom. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the desired result. Let's see our next example. Over here we have got our code and against code we want all the details. So I'll insert my formula over here plus or equal to x lookup bracket open lookup value code will be my lookup value comma lookup array where I have to look for certain code from all the codes. So I have selected all the codes from top to bottom, comma, return array. In return array, we will select the whole data. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And just notice, I inserted my formula just in products, but in rest of the cells, I got the desired result. Now let's insert XLOOKUP over here, plus or equal to XLOOKUP 
bracket open lookup value product name will be my lookup value comma lookup array where i have to look for the name in all the products so i have selected all the products from top to bottom comma return array in return array i'll select the whole data we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and just notice we got the desired result let's move to next example over here we have got our code and against code we want product name and total let's use the formula plus or equal to x lookup bracket open lookup value code will be my lookup value comma lookup array where i have to look for these codes i have to look for these codes among all the codes so i have selected all the codes from top to bottom comma return array in return array we will use the function of choose so i'll insert choose bracket open index number i have to extract the data for two columns so i'll put curly bracket 1 comma 2 curly bracket close comma value 1 in value 1 we will select all the products from top to bottom because we have to take out products first comma value 2 in value 2 we want total so i'll select total from top to bottom we'll close the bracket and we'll close the bracket till bracket doesn't gets black and we'll hit enter and just notice we got product name as well as total if i change the product code from here enter product name as well as total got changed over here i have got my product name and against product name i want code and total let's use our formula plus or equal to x lookup bracket open lookup value product name will be my lookup value comma lookup array so i have to look for the product name among all these products so i'll select all the products from top to bottom comma we will use choose over here choose bracket open index number we want two columns first of code and second of total so i'll put curly bracket 1 comma 2 curly bracket close comma value 1 in value 1 we want code so i'll select all the codes from top to bottom comma value 2 in value 2 we want total sale so i'll select total sale from top to bottom we'll close the bracket we'll close the bracket till bracket doesn't gets black and we'll hit enter and we got code against product name as well as we got sales means total sales let's move to next example over here we have got two criteria first is code and second is product name and based on code and product name we want total sales let's insert x lookup plus or equal to x lookup bracket open lookup value this time we will have to take two lookup values and the very first lookup value will be our code and we will select product so we have taken two lookup values comma lookup array as we have taken two lookup values we will have to take two lookup array also so first lookup array will be all the codes from top to bottom and second lookup array will be all the product names so i'll select all the product names from top to bottom comma return array what i want in return in return i want total sale so i'll select all the sales from top to bottom we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the desired result let's move to next example over here we have got our data in rows but over here we want our data in a single column let's see how it can be done plus or equal to x lookup bracket open lookup value product code will be my lookup value comma lookup array where i have to look for this code i have to look for this code among all the codes so i'll select all the codes from top to bottom comma return array in return what i want in return i want all the data so i have selected all the data from top to bottom we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and we got the result but it's not desired because we got the result in a single row but our target over here is to get the data in a single column so i'll double click on the formula will come in the very beginning means i'll click just after equal to and we'll use the function of transpose transpose 
bracket open. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket of transpose and we'll hit enter. And just notice, we got the desired result. Let's move to next example. Over here, we have got product name and month. And in both the places, we have got drop downs. And our target over here is to extract amount based on product and month. Let's use xlookup plus or equal to xlookup bracket open lookup value. My lookup value will be product name. So I have clicked on product name, comma, lookup array. Where I have to look for product name among all these products. So I'll select all the products from top to bottom, comma, return array. In return, what I want? In return, I want all the details, means all the sales. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And instead of sales of April, we got sales of all the months. So over here, we will use one more X lookup. We'll double click on the formula. We'll come in the very beginning. We'll insert another X lookup. X lookup bracket open lookup value. This time my lookup value will be month's name. Month's name is not visible. So I'll click on header and through down arrow key, I'll come down comma lookup array where I have to look for month's name among all the headers. So I'll select all the headers from beginning to end comma return array in return array. I'll take my formula, which I have inserted in the very beginning. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the sales of fan of April month. Let's cross check fan April 1763. If I change production name, we'll do headphone April 1991. If I change the month, we'll do it June headphone June 2549. We got the amount as 2549. Let's move to next example. Over here, we have got product name and against product name, we want total sales. But in our data, we haven't got total sales. Let's see how we can get the data plus or equal to X lookup bracket open lookup value product name will be my lookup value comma lookup array where I have to look for the product among all the products. So I'll select all the products from top to bottom comma return array in return array. I'll select the whole data means all the sales. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got the sales of different months. We'll double click on the formula. We'll come in the very beginning and we'll insert the function of sum S U M sum bracket open. We'll come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. And we got total sales of fan for all the months. Let's move to next example. The top we have got our sales data and below that we want total of individual items and over here we will insert just one X lookup. Let's use our formula plus or equal to X lookup bracket open lookup value in lookup value. I'll select all the products together comma lookup array where we have to look for all the product names over here. So I'll select all the data from top to bottom comma return array in return what I want in return. I want total sales from top to bottom. Now I'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and just notice with single X lookup. We got multiple results. Let's come over here. Formula will be plus or equal to X lookup bracket open lookup value. My lookup value will be all the months comma lookup array where we have to look for the months from top. So we will select all the headers from January to June comma return array. What we want in return in return. We want total sale of all the months. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter and just notice total of February is 20931 over here. We can see. So we got the desired result. Let's see our next and last example. Over here, we have got our product name. And against product name, we want sale of months, but the name of months are not in a sequence. Let's see what can be done. We'll use our formula plus or equal to X lookup bracket open lookup value name of the specific product will be our lookup value comma lookup array where we have to look for the product's name 
from all the products. So we will select all the products from top to bottom, comma, return array. In return, we will select all the sales, including total. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We got the result, but it's not desired because we got sales of all the months, including total. And over here, we have to extract the data for April, Feb and June. Let's double click on our formula. We'll come in the very beginning. Means I'll click just after is equal to and I'll insert one more X lookup. X lookup bracket open lookup value. This time my lookup value will be the three months which are on top comma lookup array where we have to look for the month's name among all these months. So I'll select all the months. I'll select total also comma will come to the end. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. Just notice fan April sale 1763 1763 sale of June is 785 sale of June is 785. We will cross check for one more product watch enter and just notice watch April 1269 1269 over here Feb 4119 4119 over here. So these were the few examples of XLOOKUP. I'll provide the link of file in description box in case you want to download you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then. Bye-bye.